also this video is going to be kind of like filling in, filling in with uh, my process of not masturbating. I was addicted to masturbating. Um, as a teenager, I was masturbating every day. Uh, addicted to porn quite a bit. <laughs> I would uh, go through thousands of pictures and save them <laughs> onto a folder in my computer. And uh, um, just for <laughs> a rainy day. Um, I went through, I, I did that a few times where I said I had enough of all this shit and I just deleted the entire folder and then I think I deleted the free time um, I also saved it for when the internet would fail so that I could still have porn and masturbate I was quite heavily addicted to porn and masturbation um, so girlfriend uh, was the first person who I had sex with, and uh, yeah, ever since having sex, I pretty much stopped masturbation entirely. Uh, we broke up, and then uh, I masturbated a few times, and then I stopped, and that was probably July that I stopped. So from since July to now, I masturbated once, and that was to test myself. I was reading um, and there's an uh, application, or a testing application that you're supposed to masturbate with your eyes open, and uh, I did that, and it was, th it was the same as masturbating within breath. Um, I've masturbated in breath before, and uh, yeah, it was the exact same. I utilized breath, and as the climax came, I would breathe harder and kind of access it and just build that up. And then the point of climax would, I would go, and just kind of release everything. Um. That's getting better too. Um, so, when I masturbated most recently, uh, testing myself, I came to the conclusion that I didn't need it anymore. That I wasn't going to do it anymore. That it was completely unnecessary. Um, and what is interesting that I really haven't figured out is that um, when I don't masturbate for a long time when I masturbate my cum is uh, yellow it has a yellow tint to it when I was masturbating quite frequently um, it, it was kind of it was clear and sticky, um, but this cum was uh, yellow and very goopy. It was and uh, starchy. It, it wasn't like stringy. It was more clumped, which is interesting. I'm not sure. What was about? I was just thinking if you had a mental picture, I wouldn't enjoy having a mental picture of that anyway, it is what it is. So, <laughs> yeah, the, when I first stopped masturbating, I, will, I guess 
the whole process started when I said enough for the first time and then I kind of gave in. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I guess it all started there and it took a long time. Probably about like a year for me to uh, completely stop again, stop having desires. Yeah, there is absolutely no more desire to to watch porn, but there still is a point of if I see like a sexual image, I will still get horny and I will feel that energy build up. So there's obviously something still there. Um, I'm still looking at a lot of females, breasts and asses. It's like, yeah, having to program myself to just go right to it, and uh, yeah, it's that that one is hard for me to control. Um, yeah, because I'm still looking to be uh, turned on and sexually attracted. I'm still addicted to that energy. Whenever that energy presents itself, I'm like, yes, I have to calm myself and stop myself. Um, I rarely get horny anymore. Like, my sex drive is kind of still there, but it's not the same. It's more of a honest self sex drive rather than just want to fuck something. It's, I would like to experience self-expression within sex instead of I just want to fuck something. So yeah, if you're addicted to porn and masturbation, <laughs> realize that it takes time. A lot of time. It takes effort as well to constantly stand up. It, it takes, <laughs> it takes realization and you have to become aware of what you are doing when you are masturbating. You can't just be like, have an idea of what masturbation is and stop it through that idea. You actually have to live it to realize what it is in its entirety. Like I had to, I had to realize what I was doing with and saving all those photos. Um, to completely stop that, the first few times that I did it, um, I had an idea of, oh, this is disgusting. This is purposeless. It was purposeless, but the disgusting aspect, like, um, I realized that it was there for me to hold on to, to find some comfort, and masturbating was comfort for me, that I could retreat into my mind and fuck myself. So yes, it does take effort to stop masturbation. Um, and the cool point is, is that within that, like, usually, the, like the last time I masturbated, I was kind of worried that I would fall into a pattern of masturbating again. But I did it out of self-honesty and not out of desire. Um, there was no desire to masturbate. It was self-investigation and expression. Um, so therefore there wasn't any um, manifesting energy to recreate that pattern. 